Hello. Hi, everyone. Please let me know if you can hear me. It's Veronica here from Vintage Meat Modern and welcome to Jewelry Party Wednesday. It is absolutely by far the best and the most fun night of the week. I'm very excited because I have got an entire tray loaded up of goodies that we have right here. So I'm gonna give my friends a few minutes to hop on and I'm also gonna give you an opportunity to make sure that you have a link to the collection so that you can uh, go ahead and shop any of the gorgeous pieces that I'm showing you. So be sure to say hello, let me know that you can see us. Hi there, Sabrina, how are you? Boy, you nabbed one of my favorite pieces from this week's collection. Uh, that turquoise, that color, the same color as our Vintage Meat Modern turquoise silhouette. That was a hard one not for me to add to my collection, but I'm so excited and so glad. Thank you, Amanda. You, I'm sure Sure look beautiful as well. Hi, Renee. How are you? Oh, you have another one of my favorite pieces that I packed up this week. Uh, and you know what? I must say, for those of you who purchased more than one piece, uh, the collection and the pieces that you put together, really, really divine combinations. You are all going to love them so much. So welcome. I'm so glad to see you all here tonight. It is my favorite night of the week. It is Jewelry Party Wednesday. I'm going to be chatting with you all about our latest collection, which had debuted on Sunday night. Uh, the link should be up in the heading over here. So if you see any of the pieces, uh, that is the easiest way to shop them. Otherwise, the lovely Leanne also uh, goes ahead and drops the links while we're in here. But I'm very excited because it's the Wednesday before Valentine's Day. So I want to wish all of our beautiful friends who are joining us for the first time and all of our amazing who join us on a regular basis, a very happy Valentine's Day. Remember, all of you are such lovely and beautiful people that it's not just a romantic holiday, but it's really truly about celebrating love and joy and community and all of those amazing things. And remember, every week we come here together, we talk about jewelry, we catch up on what's going on with life, and we celebrate our inner sparkle so that we can let our personal style shine wherever we go. The jewelry is just the icing on the cake. It's the creme de la creme and it is the beautiful thing that sets you apart from the rest. So I'm very excited because it's Valentine's Day and Valentine's Day is another one of those special holidays that always really makes me think about how lucky I am to grow up with things that are rich in tradition like vintage jewelry, all the great and special memories that I have of doing fun little things uh, that really stick with you your entire life. And then of course, also being a wife and a mom and having three children and everything. I have a lot of fun getting to do things like bake little chocolate heart cookies and making the little Valentine's Day shoe boxes and things like that. So it's a really, really great time of year. So speaking of that, will you all be my Valentine? I have got something special tonight, I promise. Also, I want to let you know that if you got a mystery gift from last week, we wrapped them all up today. And I have got Valentine's and surprise gifts to you too as well. So if you are just joining us or you're catching this on the replay, I have not one, but two gifts that I'm giving away tonight and in order to be able to enter to win them. All you need to do is tag a friend or share this. And if you tag a friend or you share this, then tomorrow morning, we are going to put your name into the random generator. I love doing that, by the way. And we are going to call a lucky winner and we will either private message you or tag you on the post and let you know that you win. And what are you going to win? You are going to win a pair of sterling silver 1940s screwback rose earrings, or I have a pair of petite pierced earrings from the 1960s that are little metal painted enamel roses. So I, of course, have got two fabulous prizes for all of you. And in order to win, all you need to do is either tag a friend or share this video. And that's how we're going to share a lot of love and Valentine's with everyone else. So it is obviously an awesome night. 
We're going to talk about jewelry. We're going to catch up what's going on. I see we've got Alicia. We've got Sabrina. We've got Joan. We've got Tamara. We've got Amanda. We've got lots of eyes out there. We've got Anne. Uh, and now it's time to talk a little bit about the fabulous collection that we had out and also maybe give you some tips and tricks on how to wear it. I'm very, very excited because on Friday, we're going to be popping up again at the J Crew at Northbrook Court. If you have not clicked on our events tab on our website, be sure to do that because we're coming into our busy season again. When are we ever not busy here? But we love getting to see you in person. So that's an opportunity for you to come out and see us. The blouse that I actually have on tonight is from J. Crew Mercantile. It's from their 365 collection. It's a little ruffled styled blouse. Um, it could be worn off the shoulder. I'm choosing to wear it up. And I have on a pair of black lace pants. And so I am going to be wearing the same outfit and of course be giving you all of the details. And that's one of the fun things that if you're new to vintage meat modern or you're new to wearing vintage jewelry, or you're just thinking, I love the way that it looks, but I don't know what to wear it with. That's what makes vintage meat modern special and different than all the other vintage jewelry sellers. We know that every single piece that we pick in our collection has to be worn with your modern life. So whether you are a longtime collector, you're just getting started or if you're looking for something to truly set yourself apart from the rest my 20 years of experience in the industry will really help you because i hand pick all of these pieces for you and i listen to what you're looking for too so tonight i'm very excited like i said i'm wearing red but i think red and black is a really really great co uh, combination so the combination that i have on tonight are some of the lovely jet pieces that we have and the jet pieces that we have have been absolutely flying out of here as fast as i can collect them and add them to the vmm collection they are whoop, out the door again and so tonight i actually have three necklaces layered up i have have the shorter necklace and then two of the longer ones. I'm also wearing the jet brooch that is off the side. This is sort of the star burst kind of style one. And I'm also wearing the 1940s jet door knocker earrings. So you can see how easy it is to actually be able to layer up a bunch of pieces together. For those of you who like those authentic art deco looking pieces, this is really a true nod to that. These pieces are very special and they are very nice because they are also all hand knotted. So very high quality jet crystal beads. Uh, the brooches are from a little bit later. They're from the 1950s and they are in a jet or a japanned finish. Uh, super fun, really easy to wear and the earrings are the same way. Really nice, super easy to wear. This particular pair has got the screw back on it. So if you are not always really super comfortable wearing a pair of clips, the screw backs are always nice because you can adjust the tension on them. I'm going to go ahead and I'm going to share my screen so that I can go ahead and show you a little bit of a few of these pieces that we're talking about tonight. Uh, the first of which that I'm showing you up here is the Vintage Meat Modern Screwbacks. These are the Vintage Art Deco, Art Deco Jet Black and Gold Glass, and they've got the bead. As you can see, they have a little tiny bit of the cap with the little bit of the gold and then they've got the screw back these are super easy and super nice to wear i of course have them dressed up a little bit with what i have on but these are also really easy to be able to wear casually too so if you are the type of person that really likes being able to just wear a white shirt with the collar popped up some jeans and maybe some black flats. Uh, if you dress up and you wear some scoops and some shells, maybe throw a blazer on with things and then some dress pants. This is perfect to wear with heels. This is also another really great piece to be able to layer up with other pieces as well. Like I said, brooch and or necklace. I love being able to really be able to make your look more distinctive by adding more pieces. So I like the idea of being able to kind of 
add all of these together. So these are very easy, they're very wearable. Another piece though that we have that goes very nicely with both of the two necklaces and the short necklace as well, is that we also have another pair of earrings that are a little bit larger. They're a mid-century modern earring and these are actually Hallmarked made in Austria. So most of the jet pieces that we have are authentic to the Czech Austria region uh, and they are all dating from the 1940s, 1950s era. So you can see this pair is a little bit longer uh, compared to the daintier size that I just showed you. Uh, this piece makes this interesting in that this particular area, this whole piece is of a piece of carved jet. These feature different size beads, uh, but they both go very nicely with all of the beaded necklaces and then all of the brooches that we have. So this one is the Starburst style brooch. And then the Starburst style brooch goes very nicely with the larger earrings. And it also goes very nice. Wow, there are still long jet necklaces. Yeah, in fact, we have we have three of them. Uh, we've got the long jet. And you know what another thing is, I'm gonna tell you another trick is if you really wanna layer all of these up, you could also get a pair of black velvet ribbon and you could just like I did here, you could either double these and wear these shorter because these both also have spring ring clasps on them. So you can double these up or if you wanna make your own little graduated necklace, you can maybe tie these together with a black velvet ribbon and you can extend the length and then you can really have like a fully layered look all together. So there's a lot of options to be able to wear the jet pieces. They're really nice and they're really easy to wear. So the next up that we have, let's take a look at a couple of the other pieces that we have on the website. Let me go ahead and share my screen with you again. I just showed you the jet earrings, but let's point out how easy it is to find those jet crystal necklaces. We have got, here is one of the longer ones. They're also a really reasonable price too. This is the jet faceted bead necklace. I have two of them and this one is 36 inches long and as you can see it also has got the spring ring clasp. So it's very easy to be able to double it. This is a great piece. As you can see I showed you how easy it is to be able to layer it up. There are several pairs of earrings that we have that matches with it and there are several brooches that we have too. A couple of the jet brooches that we've had recently have sold. So let's take a closer look at the jet brooches that I was just showing you. Uh, the one that I have on right now is the jet black crystal brooch. It's a rhinestone one. This one is also a made in Austria piece. So this is another really nice piece. Um, this one has got sort of like a starburst style design like I'm going ahead and showing you. Uh, as you can tell, it goes very nicely with the earrings that I have on and it also goes very nice with the jet ones. But I'm gonna go ahead, I'm gonna take that one off and I'm gonna show you the one that's also more of the pinwheel style. And we can also talk about how that it's really easy to be able to wear these in different places as well. So I showed you a minute ago the one that's kind of the starburst or sort of the flower style. We also have one that is sort of a round medallion style. And this one is nice. And all of these also, the Japan metal finish. So, you know, they refer to this as the enameling when it covers the whole brooch the same way that we have uh, the rhodium finish or the gold plated finish. The Japan metal finish is the painted enamel. And as you can tell, these are all really nice pieces from the 50s era because they're not missing any of the coating. So they're a great coated. Uh, there's no wear to the plating, uh, no enamel loss. And then, of course, all of the stones are there and they're all very sparkly. So I just had one onto the side, but don't forget that it's really easy to be able to wear these also medallion style. So you can very easily be able to pin these to the front of your blouse in the center. So if you like being able to wear v-necks, cardigans, uh, if you're like me and you like that trick where you can be able to wear something right in the middle of your blouse or to cover the buttonholes on your favorite cardigan, these make nice sizes too because they're kind of like a round sort of pendant, but they have their own little free force shape. They also go very nicely with both of the pairs of earrings that I talked about a little earlier. We've got the longer dangle 
and then we've got the jet door knocker and they both all look divine with red but remember somebody said oh i really like the jet pieces but i don't know what to wear with them Jet is great because it goes with so many different classic colors. You can actually wear it with navy. The blue and the black is actually a very elegant color combination. As you're seeing, I have on today the red. This looks fantastic with different shades of green. You can, of course, go very dramatic and go very black on black. But this is also a great one to mix with your heather colors of gray. You can easily put this on camel if you've got a cashmere camel coat, like from uh Brooks Brothers or your blazers. And then don't forget any of the blazers that you might have that might play up on the houndstooth or the plaid pattern. So there was a lovely coat that we actually just featured on our Instagram that was from Ann Taylor. And it featured a houndstooth pattern and it actually had a red dress that was featured on it and it had just the teeniest tiny little bit of red and black stripes running through it. So it's always great that if you even have a hint of black running through it, you can easily be able to mix any of these jet pieces with you. And they do have an elegant sophistication to all of them. So if you're really looking to up that chic factor, these are great pieces to add to your jewelry box. So I've had a lot of fun with the jet pieces and I'm really hoping that you love them as much as I do. Uh, all of them are available over on the website unless somebody's grabbing them up right now while we're speaking. Uh, they have been very popular and we're very lucky to have as large of a collection of them as we do because they are really fabulous. Now, moving on from the jet, let's talk about the beauty of red on red. So. Of course, it is Valentine's Day that's coming up. Uh, lots of us will be wearing different shades of red and pink. And we also have got a pair of luscious red, cherry red hand knotted beads with a really neat little pretty buckle clasp on it. And this one is nice actually for those of you who like being able to have something that's easy to put on yourself. This is actually a magnetic clasp. So that's kind of cool and kind of sweet. And for those of you who like being able to also, you can easily be able to wear the little decorative clasp in the front, or you can put it right to the back. And as you can see, this was a super easy piece for me to put on myself. I just doubled it right in front of you. You of course can wear it the long way or you can wear it layered up with other pieces, uh, but it's also a really comfortable piece to wear doubled. Hi Vicki, how are you? I love all your choices too. I see all my girls tuning in, so much fun. So this is the long red necklace and I have to tell you, it just feels so beautiful on. The glass and the, the size and the weight of the beads is really, really beautiful. Uh, it's got that cool, crisp feeling, but that bright cherry red warmth when you look at it. And it has got just the prettiest little dainty clasp. Like I said, it's a perfect piece to be able to wear the clasp in the front or in the back, but you could also be able to wear this piece long as well. So it's a super versatile piece too. We also have got these really fun little intaglio cameo earrings. These are in the red that feature the carved cameo. And with the little carved cameo, it's in a gold setting. Now, of course, you can mix the gold and the silver. Oh, I'm getting this stuck on the screw back. I forgot that I had an earring still on this one. You can, of course, be able to wear this very easily with both gold and silver. You can turn the silver to the back if you don't like having the mixed metals. But if you love being able to wear red with red, remember red with red looks very pretty. You can wear the red earrings with the red beads. But as you can see how easy the translucence that is in the red with the earrings goes with the translucence of the necklace. This color looks darker when you see it in the photos, but as you can see when it's on me, it really shows that deep red beautiful true red color against your skin or with whatever color you're putting it with. It shows up perfectly with the red that I have on. So you of course can do easily the red on red. Uh, you can also, like I said, this is a great piece to be able to wear longer and to be able to complement and be able to wear with other pieces as well. So you can easily be able to take this long and then just wear it with the clasp in the back. 
And we can even layer this up with other red pieces. So, you know, I'm such a huge fan of these intaglio earrings. The intaglio, here you go, you can see it long. Uh, the intaglio earrings are really a gorgeous uh, piece and I really do love them because they're not signed, but they do have all the look and the feel of a gold dot or a Florenza. And I love being able to put them actually with this piece as well. So see how we're building this really unique sort of style all together. We're putting the brooch in the center kind of to be able to wear it like a pendant and I'm wearing the red beads to complement and bring out uh, the red that's in the garnet with the brooch and so there's a lot of ways to be able to wear all of these pieces together you can wear the earrings with the necklace you can wear the brooch with the necklace you can wear the brooch alone uh, and in the center, this is another one of those pieces where I think lots of people ask about it, but they're not really quite sure how to wear it. And just look at how easy it is to be able to put this right in the center. I do love these earrings. I feel that the same romantic Victorian revival style that you can see in the earrings, you can see in the brooch. And let me go ahead and share my screen with you again so that you can go ahead and you can take a closer look at this piece and I can give you the details on it. One of the other fun parts about this lovely brooch and this lovely pair of earrings that I'm showing you is that also it's a signed Florenza piece. So we talk a lot about one of the fun things about getting to collect all of these pieces is that they're really truly collectible in the sense that the signed pieces always seem to retain their value. And part of the appreciation of being a collector is that when we talk about the books and the research and the history that goes into finding these pieces, uh, these are the companies that we have information on you know, who they were influenced by, what was going on in the fashion world at the time. You know, so many of these things that we forget actually happened and took place. And there was such a importance in the jewelry and accessories designer working with the fashion houses. And so of course, Florenza is one of our favorites around here. Lots of people love that Victorian revival style design. And also a lot of people like the fact that they usually have bright, beautiful colors. So this one has got that gorgeous little bit of turquoise with that beautiful bright red color. And then of course it has got that very pretty cameo in there. And of course what makes it really nice and special is that it also has the addition of that gold gilt frame with that sort of little ornate design with it. So this is a very, very pretty piece. I love that it goes very nicely with the earrings. I think it brings the whole entire look together. And I think that there's a lot of other pieces that you would be able to enjoy going ahead to wear with this piece as well too. I know that the lovely Alicia actually who's on here tonight, she picked up one of the bracelets uh, that this would go great with too. So you might even have some pieces that have a nod either to the turquoise or the cameo or the gold. So just keep that in mind when you're building your collection as well as being able to kind of build this whole look of putting things together. So this beautiful brooch has got a lot going for it. It looks great with the earrings, but if you're not a fan of the earrings, there's of course other earrings that we can put with it too. Thank you, Peggy. Yes, I love it. You know, we have lots of cameo collectors. Uh, you know, that nod to the past is really a lot of fun. And speaking of Florenza, Florenza was actually named for his mother. It actually wasn't it started like in Italy or anything like that. But I do have a gorgeous pair of gold 1940s made in Italy earrings, which of course go with all of the gold pieces that we have tonight. So whether you are picking up the, on the gold and the brooch that I'm showing you here, or you're looking to pick up the look of the gold and some of the other pieces we have, Let's talk about instead of wearing just black with gold and even adding these pieces with the red with red, let's talk about how it looks so elegant to put gold pieces with red as well. Since so many of us are wearing red and pink this week. And don't forget, it is also um, heart month for women as well. So, you know, wear red as well. So many of us are also celebrating that by wearing red too. So we've got these gorgeous red made in Italy earrings. These are stamped made in Italy. And as you can see, these are always what I say, my five second to fabulous rule. If you are down on yourself, if you are not looking and feeling your best, 
put on some lipstick and a pair of earrings. And before you can count down five, four, three, two, one, you can get that glow of just looking and thinking, oh, I feel more put together now. So these earrings are fabulous. And of course, they go with so many other awesome pieces. So let's talk about some of the other pieces that you could wear with this gorgeous earring. So the first of which is that we have that in gorgeous Monet Valero necklace. Uh, and for those of you who are in our private Facebook group or have tuned in before or are even more serious collectors, you will know that this is a very collectible piece. This is one that every time we have it, whether we have it in silver or gold, it's a very quick in and then out of here again. And of course, it's that way for a couple different reasons. First of all, it's an incredibly versatile piece. It is got all the contemporary edge that we love with all of the high quality workmanship that everybody talks about when they say they just don't make pieces like they used to. This is a very heavy 18 karat gold plated chain uh, with also very lovely fab style ends to the lariat. And it is heavy, well made, well thought out design, and it is super easy to wear. Yes, Alicia has it and she says, I have it and it's totally worth it. Now, this is one of my favorite pieces because it will never let you down. It will go with whatever you have on. And as you can see, it's really easy. It's a lariat style, so you can wear it knotted up, you can wear it high, you can wear it low. Um, I have actually seen, and if you have the Monet Masters book as well as several of the other collector's books, like I said, this is a collector's piece. It was one of Monet's top sellers and it became one of their most iconic designs. Uh, not only is the piece that is featured in the book featured this way, but they also have it turned around where a woman is wearing a high neck black dress with an open back and she actually has the tassel and the lariat going around the back and she's wearing that down the back of her neck. Now, I don't know. I can't really spin around since my chair is too high to be able to show you how to do that. But I'm just saying this piece actually has a lot of versatility that goes with it. It's another piece that's also really easy to layer up with other pieces. So you can easily be able to wear it with an earring that's like the one that I have on uh, with the little bit of the 1940s. But there are other pairs of earrings that we have that go with it fantastic and smashingly as well, too. So it's really easy to be able to wear this uh, with the classic gold tassel earring. Uh, so these are not signed, but they are in the Monet style or part of like the Napier style, higher quality 18 karat gold plated, little bit of a tassel. And you can easily be able to wear this with the Bolero. Or we actually even have an awesome pair of vintage Rochelle, uh, new old stock earrings that also kind of pick up on the fluted style design that you see in the Lariat itself. So very easy to be able to wear this necklace with lots of other pieces. And you could also be able to wear this by layering with other necklaces, other brooches. It's kind of one of those sort of one, one size fits all necklaces. And also it's one of those pieces that kind of does double duty. So whether you're a girl that wears jeans and t-shirts and dresses very casually every day, or you have to get dressed up, or you just like getting dressed up on the weekend, and this can go over variety of different ways. You can easily make this be very boho chic. You can make this very polished and elegant. You can make it very sexy and refined, or you can just layer it up with other pieces and really enjoy being able to have that classic gold elegance that's always going to give your facial features and your look that elegant golden glow. So this is a really great piece. Like I said, it's a collectible. It's one that every time we have it, it's gone again. So if you're looking for something, exactly. Alicia says, I wear mine all the time. Sabrina says, I wear mine all the time. It's just one of those pieces. And I wore it earlier during the week with an olive colored sweater and a black shell from J. Crew. So it's a great piece. Just super fun. All righty. So I talked a little bit about that piece. Now let's talk about the brooches. I've got some awesome brooches this week too. And I have to tell you, I haven't even put these online yet, but I just got these. 
So I just experimented with these wire collars that we got in and they literally just came and I haven't even had an opportunity to put them online. But for those of you who are always asking how to wear brooches, uh, we actually sell these awesome little brooch extenders at Vintage Meat Modern. Uh, and these are a lifesaver because as you can see, I just took this awesome Monet brooch that we have. Also, can you believe that this is Monet? It, I couldn't either. And it's really, really well made too. It's all gold plated on the underside, no open back stones. So this, I decided, why couldn't you take this awesome brooch that's a medallion style and basically turn it into a statement necklace? Isn't this fun? So we just got these collars in. They're not even online yet. If you want one and you love one, please say, I want a collar. Um, we're going to be selling these in our jewelry box extras very soon, as soon as we can get them photographed and put up online. Uh, and they are perfect to work with our brooch extenders so that you can take a brooch that is like this and turn it into a medallion. So I love being able, I love that brooch. It may be, yes. So I love this brooch too. I mean, First of all, it's like vintage meat, modern turquoise blue. Uh, turquoise is the girl with the silhouette uh, and turquoise is my birthstone and turquoise is also the color of friendship. So I always say that our customers come to us as clients and then they become friends and then we all become part of this wonderful community, which is why I've always continued to keep that nod to the vintage with our modern friendships and our modern styles. So that's my take on it. And this color has got that same blue that we use in our logo and then of course this beautiful brooch has got all this gorgeous aurora borealis and rhinestones that are going with it too so this is another piece that's really really great to be able to wear with other earrings that we have you can easily be able to wear these with the little crowns so we have these sweet little crown earrings that feature the same sort of blue color and they also have the Aurora Borealis and they also have a little bit of garnet too. So you could really be able to play up on the Aurora Borealis that you see in the brooch that you see in the earrings. So we've got the sweet little crowns, but we also have got an awesome pair of Cha-Cha Aurora Borealis clip earrings. These are super fun to be able to bring up on the Aurora Borealis that we have with the brooch too. And of course, you could always be able to wear this with classic gold as well. We have got these lovely earrings that are a vintage Swarovski and these are signed. Uh, this is a vintage Vonelle. Uh, these are actually also new old stock. So these are a great earring to be able to bring out the blue and to bring out the classic gold that you see in this brooch. The brooch is just fabulous. Like I said, I've got it on now on this gold wire and I'm wearing it with a brooch converter and it's super fun. Don't forget, those are the types of things that we offer here at Vintage Meat Modern that make your collection so much more wearable. So we've got earring clip pads, we've got brooch converters, we're gonna start carrying these awesome gold wires so that you can wear your brooches as pendants, and we'll teach you some tips and tricks along the way uh, of how to be able to wear them as well. Because of course, there's always little jewelry hacks that are awesome too. So I love this brooch and I love that it goes with the, both the classic gold pieces as well as it goes very nicely with the Aurora Borealis ones too. So this is definitely a great one to be able to add to your jewelry box. There are several pairs of earrings that can really complement it and make it look even more outstanding. Uh, the vintage Swarovski ones are beautiful. The little vintage crown ones are beautiful uh, and you know, you're just ready to go. So, and for those of you who would have never guessed that this was Monet, I would have never guessed that it was Monet as well. So, and for those of you who have questions about how the brooch converters work, they're really, really easy. It's those little brooch converters just convert right to the back of the pin. And for those of you who don't want this piece moving around on the back of the bar that goes on the back of the brooches, I just secure it with the little rubber earring backs. Sometimes they call them the little um, French clips or anything like that. They're just like the little rubber stuff and you just put one on one side and one on the other side and it keeps the converter from moving around which sometimes make it makes it even more comfortable 
Now, as long as I have those beautiful Aurora Borealis crown earrings on, one of my other favorite pieces, speaking of pieces to put right in the center, is this sweet little brooch that has got the large Aurora Borealis finish to it. And it's set in the rhodium tone. So for those of you we've been looking and talking about the gold tone, I know some of you don't care. You like wearing gold and silver. You like wearing everything. I know some of you prefer to wear just gold toned uh, because you can also be able to easily be able to mix it with your vintage pieces or your classic and your fine jewelry pieces. For those of you, I know some people just like wearing classic silver. This is a really standing, uh, outstanding brooch and it also goes really perfectly with those crown earrings. It also goes very nice with some of the other classic Aurora Borealis pieces. So so the crown earrings are obviously my favorite earring to be able to wear with this. But you can also wear those classic Cha Cha Aurora Borealis. These are made in Austria, like I was showing you a little earlier. You can't help but hold them and actually want to make them Cha Cha. And if you're quiet, you can hear them Cha Cha too. So this is one of those great brooches that you can obviously wear off to the side if you like wearing things on your shoulder or on your lapel, but it's also appropriate to be able to wear in the middle. And it goes very nicely with all kinds of Aurora Borealis pieces. So as you can see, I've got the Aurora Borealis cha-cha earring, uh, but it also goes very nice with the crown. I like it with the crown because the points on the crown match the points on the brooch very pretty and it kind of pulls the whole entire look together. But it does go very nicely with a lot of the other classic Aurora Borealis pieces. So and for those of you who don't know, I keep saying Aurora Borealis, Aurora Borealis. Aurora Borealis is that iridescent color that was invented in the 1950s. Christian Dior worked with uh, the Swarovski company to create this iridescent reflection that kind of catches all of the light. It's a coating uh, and it either goes over the crystal or with the rhinestone pieces goes under the crystal and it is supposed to be mimicked and to look like the northern lights. So speaking of that, we've got some awesome cha-cha pieces. We have got the cha-cha bracelet, which obviously goes very nicely with the Aurora Borealis that I have here. And it also goes very nice with both pairs of earrings. The cha-cha earrings have a little bit of a waterfall style to them, very similar to the bracelet. This bracelet is a 1950s bracelet. It's an expansion style, so it's very comfortable, very easy to wear. This one is with a rhodium plating. It is not missing any of the dangling cha-cha beads to it. Uh, and as you can tell, like I said, so from a distance, it looks kind of weird. I'm kind of holding it up like that, but if you see it like against it, the way that you would wear it, it's a super fun. It's a very easy, and these are very comfortable. Because of the expansion, um, they will fit both a small, medium, and large wrist. Uh, this one is hallmarked inside Japan, uh, and it just has the absolute most beautiful sparkle to it. It's such a really gorgeous, fabulous piece. So we've got the Cha Cha bracelet, we've got the Aurora Borealis brooch, and then there are two pairs of earrings that both play up on those Aurora Borealis colors. Those are also new this week. And you know, it's funny, the last couple of weeks here, we've been here for a while. My tray is really, really low this week. So we've got a lot of pieces here, and we also had a lot of pieces go off to new homes. So I'm surprised more of the pieces that were in the Jet family didn't fly out of here. But maybe we inspired a few people to add some of them. All right, next up, we have a true collectible. We have a fantastic vintage Panino brooch. So vintage Panino is very collectible. These pieces are very high quality. This is a sterling silver piece with hand set stones. Uh, this is an older piece that we have as well. This is a 1950s piece. Uh, the workmanship on these are always just absolutely fantastic. And this is another one that if you go ahead and if you Google Panino, you will have a deeper appreciation for how special and how rare these pieces are. They don't come up very often. Uh, the workmanship, like I said, this has got the absolutely fantastic emerald 
cut baguettes that are going around the round center. When we pick this up, this is a weighty piece. It is also all hallmarked with the panino and sterling on the back of it. And it's another one that's really great to be able to wear if you are a classic pink wearer. But I will show you how lovely and how beautiful it looks with wearing it even with red. So for those of you who are looking for a really outstanding piece, or if you're looking to be able to add pieces to your collection that are also only going to go up in value and are featured in the books, this is another absolutely fantastic one. Uh, it's a very much coveted one. Like I said, if you go ahead and if you Google Panino, you will see that Panino Sterling is very collectible. Uh, and this one is actually a very reasonable priced piece compared to what you'll see for some of the other Panino pieces. Uh, it's another one. It's a nice one that's going to fill up the whole side of your blouse. It's going to be able to make a statement on your own. And for those of you who just simply love brooches, this is one that I wouldn't think twice about adding to my own collection. And there's a lot of different ways that you could be able to wear it. So I love being able to put it with the red and the pink. I think that's a really gorgeous color combination this year. Uh, you shouldn't feel silly that you can't play it up with other pieces. Uh, we also, speaking of pink, we have got a gorgeous pair of vintage Regency pink earrings. Uh, so these are a little pink cluster style, and they feature some little bi-colored and some brighter pink stones. It also has just the teeniest little hint of Aurora Borealis mixed in with it. And these go very nicely with, of course, anything that you have in the shades of pink, and you can very easily be able to wear these lovely earrings with your pink pieces, your pink and silver pieces, your pink and gold pieces, or just wear them by themselves. So speaking of that, let's talk a little bit about a bracelet that I would put with this particular piece. I love the idea of being able to play up on the pink with this very nice rose gold 1940s bracelet that we have. So this is a gold filled rose gold bracelet from the 1940s era. And it has got just the most beautiful detailing. All of the little links feature these sort of little like frames. And I think that that makes this piece really outstanding. So it's got a piece that is linked uh, with a little bit of a geometric shape that has got sort of an elongated rectangle. Uh, we have a lovely little open bloom that is in the center is an oval. Uh, and then this is complemented with the other links. This is a very, very nice quality. The gold filled pieces are always pieces that retain their value as well. They're also more collectible. So this is another one that if you're looking for something with like the pretty pink earrings, I would love to be able to say, well, we are the pink rose gold, gold filled bracelet because that would be a very lovely set together. So if brooches aren't your jam, but you love earrings and you love bracelets, this is one that you will wear and you will enjoy time and time again. The closer you get up to detail and you really get to appreciate the workmanship with it, uh, the more you tend to love and enjoy this bracelet. I love that it kind of goes very nicely with the earrings because the earrings actually have like a soft floral sort of romantic quality to them in the pink, uh, but it's a free form shape. They're not quite actually little floral designs. They just sort of look like they have it. So. All right. Speaking of other pink pieces, we do have a couple other little sweet pink pieces that are also gold filled. Uh, so we have a lovely smaller pendant. Uh, this one is also a nice piece because it can be worn as both a brooch or a pendant. And it also features some pink rhinestones and some diamante rhinestones. Uh, this one is another nice small one. And I wanted to show you again. So easy. You know, you can pop that brooch converter on here. And then like I was showing you, if you've got your own little gold chain or we like I said, we just got these collars in, uh, this would be another one that's a really nice one to be able to wear as a pendant. Let me see if I can get this going ahead without getting it stuck in my hair. Necklaces were very popular this week. We don't have as many necklaces as we usually do that I'm usually talking about during the show. And so there you can see, this makes a very lovely little pendant as well too. So you can easily be able to wear this. This has got a nice little soft floral design, little tiny hint of pink, can easily be worn as a pendant. And then it also has a sweet little pair of gold filled earrings uh, that also match it, that sort of have the same sort of fan style design. 
So these are a uh, screw back and they feature the same fan style design that the little brooch has. It's another one that's a really easy one to be able to wear both alone or with the matching piece. For those of you who like to layer up brooches, uh, you know, a few weeks ago, I think it was Jane who was in our group was sharing pictures of um, layering up pieces to be able to put on your jean jacket. This would also look very sweet on a jean jacket or a blazer. So we've got a great pair of little screw back earrings. Very, very sweet and very easy to be able to wear with this very pretty brooch. And for those of you who want to be able to layer up a brooch with another piece, uh, we also have got a very nice art mode pink pearl brooch too, uh, which also looks very lovely. So for those of you, again, we're showing off a lot of pinks and reds tonight. I'm showing you how easy it is. I wouldn't wear these all right in a row, but for those of you who are looking to maybe add a grouping of pink together, you can tell that all of these different shades of pink go very nicely. So this is the vintage art mode brooch. This is the gold filled brooch, and I'm showing this one on the collar. Uh, and these are the little gold filled fan earrings that go very nicely with both of these pieces. And all of these go very nicely with any of the classic gold pieces that we have as well too. So as you can see, this is another gorgeous piece. This is the vintage art mode brooch. And I love this one because this has got that very rich, very deep, elegant gold tone plating to it. And you could wear this very easily two different ways. So I would love to be able to put this either with a more playful earring, like those little tassels that I showed you earlier. This is the tassel earring. Uh, but also for those of you who like being able to wear a classic pearl. Uh, this piece looks very nice with a pair of pink pearl earrings that we have. And the pink pearl earrings that we have, these are actually featured over at Vintage Meat Modern, and they do have a true pink pearl cast to them, the same that you see the pink pearl cast that is in the pink pearls that are featured in this one. It's very, very subtle. And the pink pearl earrings that I have on that I'm showing you, these are vintage Majorica. Majorica clip earrings and Majorica pearls are very special. Besides that they're made in Spain, they are the highest quality faux glass pearls that you can get. They are coated in over a hundred little ground up layers of pearl, real pearl knacker. And the coloring that they do is the closest match of real pearls that you will get. These little pearl clip earrings are also extremely comfortable. They are a clip, but they also feature a screw back. So you can easily be able to change the tension on them. So I, like I said, you can be able to wear this beautiful brooch with a lot of different earrings that we have. You can do the classic tassel or you can do the classic pearl. It doesn't matter. Both look stunning. Both have completely different looks. This would be very classy and elegant to wear to the office. This would be very fun to wear out with date night or drinks with the girls. Just a really, really fun, beautiful piece. And then of course, we've been talking about all things pink. So this beautiful pink piece is perfect to be wearing now during Valentine's, but you're also going to really enjoy being able to wear it in spring and year round too. I'm hoping that you're loving all the pieces in the collection because we've got so many fantastic ones. So I really enjoyed getting to show you that one. Um, as long as we're talking about pearls and as long as we're talking about gold, I'm going to take the little tassels off and I'm actually going to put these sweet little pearls on. And then I'm going to show you one of my favorite pieces that we actually have that is in the classic red too. We have got this gorgeous beautiful red poured crystal 1940s dress clip. Now, a lot of people, again, get thrown off by the fact that this has prongs on it versus a traditional brooch. But I have to tell you, this brooch is so easy. I'm going to show you how it is very easy to just be able to pin this right through and just snap it down in place. And you don't even really have to even pin your fabric. 
Uh, these are very, very easy to wear, uh, very simple to be able to pin to your favorite lapel, your favorite coat, your favorite dress. And they do have the elegance with the pearl that is in the center and then that beautiful red poured crystal. It also, we were talking about earlier, if you're looking for a necklace to be able to wear with this one, if you're just joining us, this also looks very stunning with the red poured crystal um, and the red beads that we have too. So for those of you who like being able to wear red on red on red, I love this piece. I also wanted to remind you that it's really easy to be able to turn these pieces actually into pendants. So for those of you who I was saying earlier, I was just experimenting. I went ahead and ordered a few of these from a jewelry designer that I work with. The collar necklaces we're going to be adding to our collection. So be sure to stay tuned for that. But these are also very easy to be able to turn into pendants. You can very easily be able to wear this as a necklace. Doesn't that look awesome? This is super, super fun. And it's just a very rich and very elegant style. The poured crystal that is set in between all of those little flowers is just simply divine. And it's just a really great, really, really easy to wear piece, as you can see. And you can pop it on with either other classic gold pieces like the gold wire or a pair of gold earrings. Or you can wear it with a pair of pearls and bring out the pearls that are in the center there, too. So those are some of the favorite pieces that we have tonight. Uh, we've got a couple other that we're going to walk through. I'll talk about the rings. And then if there's anything here that you are just dying to see or you have other questions about, please get those questions ready so that I can go ahead and answer them. Uh, we also have got, for those of you who love all the jet pieces that we were showing earlier, I showed and I talked a lot about the jet pieces that are set in the dark metal finish. We do have this really outstanding piece that is set in the white enamel. And you can see how lovely the white and the black look against red. But this would be another great one to be able to actually wear against classic black, green, navy, lots and lots of different things that you would be able to do with this one. The white is a fun contrast to that bright black. This also looks very nice with all of the jet necklaces that I showed you at the beginning of the earring evening. And it also looks very nice with the jet earrings that we have too. So this is another great piece to be able to take a closer look at. And for those of you who have been craving something that is more bohemian chic and more organic, we also have a very beautiful, genuine quartz necklace, too. So this is a milky, genuine quartz necklace. Uh, this has a sterling silver clasp, and it is featuring hand-knotted briolettes. And so the briolettes are a little bit in a free form. They're all in the same size and size like uniform scale, uh, but they do lay in kind of different directions when you put them on. And it also has a lobster clasp that closes it. For those of you who like pieces that either sort of mimic the sort of sea and sky, for those of you who like pieces that also pick up the same sort of cast that pearls do, this is a really lovely and unique piece. Uh, we had a piece, I know there's the lovely lady who's watching who has it. Uh, we had a piece that featured really beautiful briolettes that was completely different. That one was with uh, Cal Sydney, and that one just flew out of here. So for those of you who are looking for things that aren't going to be going with red, but you like pastels, neutrals, grays, I would encourage you to take a closer look at the faceted briolettes quartz necklace because it really does have beautiful properties to it. And as you can see with the pearl earrings that I have on, it does have the same pearl glow uh, that has that sort of just elegant undertone to it. It's a really, really fantastic piece. And it's very different than all of the traditional rhinestones and many of the even 1920s, 30s, 40s, 50s pieces that we have. That one has more of a bohemian chic and artisan quality to it. And I know we have many collectors that enjoy it as well. So, whoo! 
Lots going on here. We've got tons of awesome and amazing pieces this week. Uh, the whole collection is packed with pieces that are absolutely gorgeous and perfect for Valentine's Day, but really perfect to wear year round. And as you can see, lots of ways to be able to wear them. We showed them being able to rock them on those collars. You can add brooch extenders. You can layer them up with other pieces. There's just lots of different ways to be able to truly enjoy and get a ton of wear out of all of these pieces. Uh, another thing that's really fantastic is that if you want to take a closer look at any of these pieces, remember we do blog weekly about these collections. So if you want to take a closer look ever at the specific pieces that we have here at Vintage Meat Modern, I do do a recap. This week's collection was called Bright and Beautiful and all of the information information that is related to it will be up for you as well as some great style picks too. So we've got just tons of amazing and awesome pieces and I would really love for you to go over to Vintage Meat Modern and take a closer look at them. Uh, so for those of you who have joined us tonight, we've had lots of fun. I was really happy and excited to see so many of you. Uh, thank you for joining us. I, it was great to see you, Renee and Alicia and Peggy, and I'm going through it, Sabrina. Uh, I know that Joan was here. I know that Amy will be here. I see Michelle. I see Amanda just so many of our regular girls and i'm very excited to have so many of you join me tonight make sure that you give a warm welcome to all of the people who are joining us for the first time because we love welcoming you into the community here and like i said this month has all been about celebrating the joy of jewelry with all of you so tonight and i'm going to close this tomorrow at 9 a.m so you still have time if you're catching the replay or if you're doing, please go ahead and share this video with your friends and be able to go ahead and also tag a friend on here because I am going to give away one of these awesome pairs of earrings. I have two pairs to give away. Uh, Michael, you wanna go ahead? Can you wish all the ladies a very happy Valentine's Day? Don't be silly, come on, wish them. Nobody wants to say happy Valentine's. Michael, what do you say? Yes, Michael did doggy Valentine's this year. Remember, I positively love you. Which pair of earrings do you like better, my friend? Um, these ones. So Michael is a fan of the silver ones. So, all right. Yes. Thank you so much, Alicia, for being here. I always love jewelry party. Jewelry party Wednesday is my favorite as well, too. Uh, Mr. Michael, thank you so much for your cameo appearance and stopping by this evening. And I'm very excited to see who is going to win these lovely flowers? And these flowers will never disappear on you. So we've got an awesome pair of little pierced vintage studs. And we also have an amazing pair of sterling silver screw back earrings. Uh, and these will be my Valentine's Day gifts to our lucky winners. But of course, stay tuned. Make sure you're on our email list. Uh, we're always very excited. Uh, we will be sure to be wishing you all a very happy Valentine's Day on Friday. So thanks so much for being here and being part of Jewelry Party Wednesday. If you have any questions about the collection, please don't hesitate to ask. Everything that we showed tonight right now is available on the website, but things do move very fast and furious around here. So if you've got your eye on something, don't hesitate to grab it and add it to your collection. And I also do promise you that what you get, you will love. So everyone have a really truly fantastic evening thanks for taking time out of your busy schedule to party with us and until we meet again remember take time to celebrate your inner sparkle so you can truly let your personal style shine because when you look good you do good and when you do good you all leave the world a more beautiful place and i know that the world is a more beautiful place because of all of you in it so it is as always my honor and privilege to get to spend time time with all of you. And I can't wait until we all do it again. So have a fantastic evening and I will see you all again real soon.